What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we're going to be talking about Redbox stock, ticker symbol RDBX, because this stock is a retail favorite that is actually pumping up today even, right? It's up at $8 per share just about at the moment, and it has gone through similar pumps in the past. We're going to talk about why this stock is a retail favorite, why this stock could potentially be pumping up much higher, because it actually is a very high short interest. And we're going to touch on that after we go over a brief history of the stock, just so that everyone who is new to this stock knows what's going on. So Redbox, ticker symbol RDBX, is a retail favorite. Currently, you can see it's the number three most active stock on StockTwits. And this popularity really started towards the end of April and beginning of May. That's when people first started paying attention to this stock seriously, right? You can see that's when they first started pumping up. And they were actually pumping up as Netflix, a big competitor of theirs, was crashing in price, right? If you look at Netflix, you can see Netflix has been falling pretty dramatically over the past couple of months, and they were also crashing recently, right? So Redbox has uh, been the meme stock alternative to Netflix, essentially, right? And a bunch of people have been throwing their money in here, particularly because there's a very high short interest on the stock, and understandably so, right? Who's actually using Redbox uh, when there are all these online streaming services, not too many people, right? So it makes sense that there's a lot of shorts in the stock, but at the same time, it has become a retail favorite and a bunch of retail traders have been jumping in more recently. Now, not to the full extent that they potentially could have if the market hasn't been doing, hadn't been doing so poorly lately, right? A lot of retail traders are kind of running out of cash and they're kind of uh, sitting with low account values right now because the market's been crashing overall. So they've turned to smaller float stocks like Redbox, all right? Now, the thing to understand about Redbox is that their float is only 1.95 million shares, right? Incredibly small, if you think about it. And that's actually why their short interest is able to be 175% of the free float, okay? With 3.42 million shares, you can see the short interest has just been perpetually climbing. Nobody really believes in this company's fundamentals, but a lot of people in retail, at least, think that we can squeeze out these shorts, right? 175% is absolutely massive. And if we do get the price appreciating enough, then a short squeeze is a real possibility, right? But the important thing to understand about a short squeeze with a stock like Redbox that has a very small float is the ups and the downs, right? Obviously, 175% of the free float, that's a pretty big upside, right? There's a lot of shorts in this thing that would have to get out and uh, would all be struggling to get out if the price pumped up enough. Now, the tough part is actually getting the price to pump up enough to squeeze out these shorts, because if you look at the short interest share count, you can see it's only 3.42 million shares. And if you think about what that means, when you look at the price of Redbox at $7.60, let's say $7.50 for this example, if you actually do the math on that of 3.5 million shares multiplied by $7.50, that means that the total short positions on Redbox equate to about $26.25 million, all right? Now, what that means is that that's all the money that shorts uh, have in this stock, right? So to actually get those shorts squeezed out, you'd, you'd probably have to get them margin called to some extent, right? You'd probably have to get their brokers uh, telling them that they need to cover their accounts with more cash or sell the stock. In which case, you'd probably have to get this number a whole bunch higher by raising the price, right? You'd either need uh, the price to be going up a lot, or you'd need a bunch more shorts to be entering this thing, and then the price to be going up uh, somewhat, at least, right? You have to squeeze out the shorts in some way by getting the price to rise, and thus increasing the amount of cash that they have tied to these short positions, because that's what actually triggers those margin calls and gets the shorts to actually have to exit their positions and what ends up triggering the short squeeze in the end. So to actually get this to happen, we'd have to see the price appreciate quite a bit because if you think about most hedge funds and most in institutions that are shorting this, they probably have pretty big accounts, right? They probably aren't going to be too worried about a couple million dollars worth of uh, negative position on Redbox, right? We would have to see the price go up pretty dramatically. And to do that, retail has to come in in a big way, right? Retail has to show some strength. And that's going to be a little tough to do with the market as it is. However, fortunately, you can see that as the market has been coming back over the past couple of weeks, so has Redbox stock, right? Redbox has actually been moving with the market, which is a very good thing because if we continue to see the market moving up, that means we could continue to see a rally on Redbox as well and potentially start to get to a point where we could squeeze out some of those shorts though it might not happen for a little bit, right? We're going to have to get the price much, much higher probably, right? I mean, uh, not it's tough to say exactly how much higher we'll have to get the price, but at least two to three X in my opinion before we start squeezing out some of the shorts because it is just such a small float and such small short positions that they have relative to their overall accounts, right? Before we actually start seeing margin calls go down. So 
Uh, overall, Redbox looks like a somewhat promising stock, right? A big retail favorite. Obviously, a ton of retail traders are interested in this one. It's very promising that we have seen it pump up and crash and then come back over the past couple of weeks. That is very promising, but it is going to take a lot more retail effort. We're going to have to see a bunch more traders jump into this, and hopefully that will be the case if the market can come back. I think if the market starts moving down, that could be very bad for Redbox. But if things go well at the next CPI report, we could be seeing some good stuff for it. So other than that, guys, keep in mind that this is financial advice. If you appreciate the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.